So lots of people struggle with converting units and I wanted to give you a really straightforward way of doing this. So let, let's have a look down here. We've got lots of different scientifically approved units. So we've got the picometer, which most of you won't come across, but I've just added it there for completeness sake. Then we have the nanometer here, which is far more likely to come up. Micrometer, millimeter, which you'll be familiar with because you'll have that on your rulers. Meter, which is obviously much larger than that. You might have wooden meter-long rulers in your science lab, but you won't really come across them apart from there. Kilometers, that's very straightforward because we know kilometers. How many kilometers is it to the beach? Five. And then lastly, megameter here, which you probably haven't come across. So what I'm trying to show you here is you can use this simple expedient of times in by a thousand to convert between the various steps. So to get from millimeters to micrometers, simply times by a thousand. To get from micrometers to nanometers times by a thousand it obviously works the other way around if you need to get from nanometers here to micrometers here divide by a thousand but i didn't want to make this diagram too complicated so as long as you know what you're doing you can obviously reverse it and i'm going to show you some examples right now so let's start by converting five meters to micrometers so let's have a look in our table and we just have to do five times have a look here, we're starting here, we're starting here and we're getting to here. What can we see we have to do then? We need to times by a thousand twice. And then just write out your answer now. So it becomes five million micrometers. We're now converting three millimeters to micrometers. So we're going from here to here. So we just need to times by a thousand. So we're just times in by a thousand once. Next up, converting 10 centimetres to nanometres. This is more complicated because we've got centimetres, which isn't included here. So let's first of all convert centimetres to millimetres. Hopefully that's really straightforward for you because, again, you have a ruler. It says 10 centimetres on it, and you'll be able to work out from your ruler that one centimetre is 10 millimetres. So therefore, 10 centimetres is going to be 100 millimetres. And then we're just looking back at our little table thing and we need to see how we're getting from millimetres to nanometres and we're timesing by a thousand twice. And let's just add some little commas to try and make that make more sense. So that's 100 million nanometres. And now we're going to go the other way. So we're converting 22 micrometres two millimeters so this time we need to divide by a thousand so 22 micrometers is 0 0.022 millimeters so i hope you can see by writing that out that you can easily interconvert between your units.